The marriage between supermodel Cindy Crawford and businessman Randy Gerber has outlasted those of many of their peers. But before you dub these two relationship goals, let's check out the strange things about their unorthodox coupling. Rumors about Crawford and her husband's marital struggles have long plagued their relationship. But many believed their marriage was really on its last leg after Star Magazine caught up with Lil Riddle, the drummer for band Terraplane's son, who claimed a drunken Crawford was acting a little too flirty at one of the band's shows. He alleged to the outlet, she certainly wasn't acting like a married woman, but like a single 21-year-old party girl. Riddle said Crawford openly flirted with the band's guitarist, Johnny Zambetti, and allegedly shouted, quote, my marriage is over, while hubby Gerber looked on from afar completely unfazed. Yeah. A rep for Crawford denied the allegations, but that didn't stop even more rumors from starting. In honor of their 20th wedding anniversary in 2018, Crawford gushed about her husband on Instagram, writing, I couldn't have chosen a better man to do this thing called life with. I love you. When I met Randy, I was ready for Randy because we started off as friends. The post should have silenced the haters, but In Touch Weekly really soured the couple's celebration. An insider told the gossip site there had been, quote, constant drama in their household for years, with their daughter Kaya traveling the world on modeling assignments and their son Presley shacking up in the family's guest house, the empty nesters were reportedly drifting further and further apart. The source added, put it this way, they don't keep tabs on each other anymore. Sometimes it seems like they're living separate lives. We're not sure if they're just comfortable with a little distance, but from the outside, that seems pretty strange. Crawford isn't the only one in the household who has sashayed down a catwalk or two. Randy also worked as a model, so it's no surprise that the gorgeous couple's equally beautiful children, Kaya and Presley, were both eyeing careers in the modeling industry. But it was their kiddos' model ambitions that reportedly caused strife between Cindy and her hubby, in particular their son's desire to become a frontrunner in the industry, a source told Star Magazine. Randy's concerned about Presley being dragged into the toxic world of the catwalk, especially when and he's still in the process of finding himself and figuring out what he wants to do in life. Ironically enough, Papa Randy allegedly had much less of a problem with their daughter pursuing modeling, which is rather strange if you ask us. And it's still a little weird for him sometimes, too. She walks in right by us, you know, with the legs up to here. And when, you know, you see people looking at her, I think, that's my 16-year-old daughter. As for Cindy, she was supposedly all for guiding both of her children through the industry with her first-hand knowledge and expertise, regardless of her spouse's feelings on the subject. The insider claimed, At this point, I'm worried this is something they can't talk through and work out between themselves. Not only is Gerber good friends with George Clooney, but the buddies became business partners in 2013 when they launched tequila brand Casamigos, according to Business Insider. Grab a glass, amigo. Our tequila is your tequila. And when they're not selling their tequila, they're drinking it, as Crawford told Conan O'Brien. And it's uh, got a little out of hand at some point, I understand. They have been known to go out and have a few tequilas, yes. Mm -hmm. Crawford recalled staying home on a Sunday night and letting her kids sleep in her bed while Gerber and Clooney hit the town, then waking up in the middle of the night to make sure Gerber had made it home safe and finding a fully clothed man face down in her guest bedroom, whom she presumed to be her husband. So I go over, I get on the bed, and I'm like, hey, babe. And he looks, and it wasn't Randy. It was George. <laughs> Of course, the moment wasn't that scandalous, since the three are good friends. But considering it was the middle of the night, it could have been worse. And we just all laughed, and we thought, how funny it would have been if the light wouldn't have been on. Right. Because I would have just gotten in bed. Maybe Crawford wasn't too concerned over the mix-up, but to us, it sounds like she's living in the real-life version of Animal House, which might not be so cool in your regular life. Crawford and Gerber first met during her agent's wedding weekend. I remember the first night I met him, which we met the night before a mutual friend's wedding. And then the next night we were at the wedding, and then we had fun. <laughs> but there was just one problem. Neither was available at the time. Crawford told Harper's Bazaar, When I met him, I was still with Richard Gere, and he didn't want to go to the wedding with me. Randy also had a girlfriend at the time, so he wasn't looking to meet anyone either, and that's the best time to meet someone because that's when you're truly yourselves. Instead of diving into a relationship, they started off as friends, and once Crawford's marriage went up in smoke and Gerber found himself single again, they decided to give love a shot. During an episode of Oprah's Masterclass, Crawford expressed just
just how beneficial it was that they didn't start out on a romantic note right away, saying, It keeps the relationship elevated to a, there's always a certain level of respect. She also said they'll, quote, always be friends no matter what. Some observers felt like that was a weird thing for a married woman to say, almost as if she's anticipating their marriage coming to an end. But maybe people are just reading too much into it. While Gerber has claimed that he loves Crawford's all-natural glow, the veteran supermodel revealed a weird nugget of information about Gerber's preference during a beauty tutorial for Vogue. As she walked fans through her makeup regimen, Crawford announced, My husband hates makeup, so this is already too much makeup for him, but I do explain to him that women do makeup for other women, not men. Okay, let's pump the brakes and recap. Makeup goes hand in hand with practically every photo shoot and runway show Crawford books. She basically gets dolled up for a living. So isn't it super odd that her husband hates the one thing Crawford wears day in and day out for the sake of her career? But hey, as long as it works for them, that's the most important thing. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.